All right, boys and girls, so we have just finished reading the novel of Freckle Juice, and for each chunk of the novel we read, we listed the Somebody Wanted But So Then on a graphic organizer. Now it's time for us to write a summary of the novel. We're going to use the information from our graphic organizer to write a summary with details. When we write this summary, it should be in our own words and include the important details. It also will include the conflict resolution. It also many times will include some cause and effects. To begin the summary, I will start with the main character and the setting, which the main character is Andrew. So I'll begin with Andrew wanted um, freckles like his classmate, but the main problem, he was born without them. Now we worked on each chunk having the conflict listed, but for the summer we're looking for the main problem, the overarching conflict of the entire book, which is the Andrew wanted freckles. So our summary looks like Andrew wanted freckles like his classmate, but he was born without them. The next part of our summary would include what he did. So he decided to buy a freckle juice recipe from Sharon for 50 cents. The next part we're going to include in our summary is the effect that he was tricked by Sharon. So the next part is he was tricked by Sharon and then the resolution to the problem is that Andrew realized he looked fine without them. So I'm going to include and then he realized that he looked fine without their freckles. So our summary for this novel is Andrew wanted freckles like his classmate but he was born without them. So he decided to buy a freckle juice recipe from Sharon for 50 cents. He was tricked by Sharon, and then he realized that he looked just fine without the freckles. So in that summary, you will see we include the main character, the main conflict and resolution of the book, and also some of the cause and effect and events in the story, and it was in our own words. I hope you all liked the book of Freckle Juice.